Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Game tonight, lads. What are your predictions? I'm saying it since uh, we beat Derry 5 it's going to be 4-0. I'm calling it. 4-0, that's a bit brave. 3-1 pats. 3-1 pats. 2-1 pats. 2-0. Uh, and goal scorers? Tommy Bourne's going to score a hat-trick. It's the new hero around uh, Richmond Park. Tommy Bourne to score two and Jamie Lennon to score one. Uh, Thomas Bourne to score one and hopefully Darren Markley will bang on one as well. Colin and Bremo. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really brave here and I'm going to go one all. Uh, that is such a safe option. Uh, well, well Rovers, Rovers at home, you know, last time I know Joey O'Brien got sent off quite early on and that kind of led more towards in your favour. But um, I think 11 v 11, I think one all would, would be a fair result considering they're playing uh, bowls at the weekend and stuff like that. I think it'd be a fair result for them mm. and for you. You're going quite strong in the league now and you're carrying a bit of momentum, so you're probably favourites for this game. Yeah, four wins on the trot. Hopefully, he's make a five. Can't yeah, and absolutely, he's a flying at the back as well. Kevin Towner yeah. has been a oh, sensational sign. Well Sorry? The team's out to gel and well together. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I just feel since like uh, James Lennon's came in, it's been more solid, a bit more pace involved as well. Sorry? A bit more pace involved since like Owen Garvin, like he's a good player, but since he had a squad, a bit more, a bit more alive in the field. Yeah, doing well to <clears throat> get the band swing, youth and experience in the team. Yeah, and um, just with that, the Brennan brothers, they always love a hostile uh, reception here in Talla. So how do you think it's going to go for them? Yeah, Killian, do you reckon he'll get on this course? He won't start, I don't think he'll start. But He's definitely not going to start. No. Yeah, he like uh, in Richmond Park. He he, won, he wound up the uh, Rovers yeah. fans quite well, didn't he? Uh, and he got scored the winning penalty then as well. So, I personally, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's definitely Brian Brennan will be on the on, on a starting line anyway. But Kenny Brennan, I don't think he can come on. I think the team too. I think he's a good player, but the team too strong at the moment to even get into the squads. So, I think Ryan Brennan will get injured at least once. He always gets injured, and now he has to come off. At least once in a game. Yeah, literally. He has to. Simo, what are your thoughts on the game tonight? Uh, big Dublin Derby. Obviously, he's beat Rovers a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Brennan Brothers back at Tala. Uh, how do you see it going? Uh, the big danger tonight with a Pats win is that Bradley might lose his job. And uh, that'll be a sickener for us Pats fans because uh, we're loving what he's doing with Rovers at the moment. Um, I think, uh, in fairness, we're flying, playing really well. Um, Last few results, I think it's four in the bounce. We've won now. Played some super stuff against Derry. Really nice goals. Did really well. Rovers look like they're in a bit of a slump. There, looks like they're they're struggling a little bit. Um, all the signs you sort of say that like it's pointing to a Pat's win, but you just wouldn't know what you're going to get. You know, like it's uh, they obviously turned us over up here earlier on the season. We, we beat them at our place. There's not a lot in it in a lot of these games. Um, I mean, we've got reason to be optimistic, but. You just, you just don't know, do you? Yeah, oh, absolutely. But in fairness to Rovers, I know Joey O'Brien got sent off earlier on that game. I was actually speaking to half time in that game, yeah. and we both said the Pats would probably go on to win that game because of the extra man. Now, if they can keep it 11 v 11, I'd see it being a lot tighter tonight. I'd probably see it being a one all draw myself. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too surprised. I wouldn't be too surprised by that. Like Pats, since the Dundalk game, Pats have been a lot more solid at the back. Although, having said that, there was a bit of a mess up now for the first uh, particularly the first goal against uh, Derry but the lot like they are actually we are playing pretty well playing some pretty nice free flowing stuff like the approach here in the first game uh, we were pretty defensive um, I don't think that's going to be the case I think we'll be a little bit more open tonight They're like, I think confidence will be high um, be interesting to see I haven't actually seen the starting 11 yet but uh, if Tommy Byrne is going to be playing up front he's brought a little bit in the last few uh, in the last few games so yeah a couple of the guys there that were on just before you just there they were predicting to score a hat trick <laughs> well he's either that or sent off after like 8 minutes or something he's uh, he looks like he's a bit of a lively character like, yeah he certainly wound the crowd up uh, at Richmond Park against Rovers actually yeah 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 so we'll probably get a bit of stick here but um whether he can keep the head now but like he's definitely got a trick in the locker very quick uh, he looks looks good he's given us that little bit extra kind of going forward as well so uh, yeah no fingers crossed now cautiously optimistic mate yeah. so what would be your uh, score prediction then uh, I'll go 3-1 uh, pots okay. there you are guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, enjoy the game Thoughts again. it's a huge game for uh, both teams Pats are on a, a great run at the moment they've won 5 on the bounce Rovers have struggled of recent uh, Pats are missing a couple of players tonight. I honestly think Rovers will do them tonight just to break their duck. Okay, uh, any predictions? 3 uh, 1 Rovers. Okay, well, a lot of Pats fans are going 3 uh, 1 Pats, so it'll be interesting to see what way, way, way it plays out. Personally, I think it's going to be a 1 all draw. Hopefully, there's more goals than that, but I, I think it would be a fair result if both, uh, both teams 
Yeah, I got a draw. I got points out of it. I, I believe anyway. You could be right to be fair, bro. I'm still hoping Rovers go and win the. You're optimistic. Absolutely, yeah. You better believe it. All right, well, thanks very much You're for your time. Well. Enjoy the game. All right. No thanks all the best. Lot. Cheers. Cheers. That's Jamaica. That 3-0 win at home. Yeah, it was well deserved to be honest, and it was a long time coming. So good performance. Obviously, the three points are more important. Just really need to get Europe, you know. So. Happy enough, uh, always good to win a Dumb and Derby as well, especially against Pat, so really good. Yeah, absolutely, especially you'd be getting close to them now on the table now after that victory. They bitched us off a couple of weeks ago. And, um, you know, it seemed to be a great performance all round. I mean, um, Rowan Fiend had a great game, Graham Ball just seemed to have a really good game. Especially Roberto Lopez, I thought was solid at the back. I think one cleared off the line and stuff like that. So it was all round good performance. As I said, the subs that come on, it's going to be hard now for Barry to pick a team, to, especially centre midfielders to start against Bowles. So. Yeah, it's never a bad problem to have, in fairness, especially uh, the preview now ahead of Bowes. What, what is your thoughts ahead of Bowes now? Everyone's saying we played well, played good football. When you go to Dalyman Park, it's, it's not even a game of ball half the time. It's more a battle than anything else, and we know about Bowes. They're going to be well up for it. Um, I think they beat us the last two times we played them as well. Even coming here in Tally, they always big pitch, but they always seem to grind out results. Um, badly need three points again. They need to win probably the next two games against Dundalk as well, the following uh, Friday. So in order to get Europe you need to get maximum points out of the next probably two to be honest yeah well hopefully for yourselves it'll be the start of a good run anyway thanks very much for your time Cheers. you must be delighted after that 3 victory absolutely yeah it came with no expectations tonight because the the um, forum the last couple of weeks you know has been so Jekyll and Hyde basically you know don't know what's going to turn up but uh, they, they turned up tonight the, the, the problem is will they do it on Friday night and will they do it next week They you never know what, what they'll do from match to match but yeah but delighted with the performance tonight Kept the tempo for most of the match as well, which is, was very important because a lot of times in the second half they sit back and let teams come on to them, and, which they didn't tonight. So it was, you know, it was happy enough for it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, obviously Stephen Bradley's been getting a lot of stick lately. He got it uh, right tonight. I mean, he's played Pats a couple of weeks ago, and I know Joey O'Brien got sent off early in the game, but he did look a level above them tonight. Whereas a few weeks back ago, they looked a level above views. So it's, it's again, again, it's one of those scenes where the Dublin Derby, where form goes out the window, isn't it? There is that. There is that um, aspect to it, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, squad-wise, we looked at two of them. I mean, we've got a lot of criticism about the, the team and the squad and that sort of thing. But you now, technically, that's a very good squad. There's no doubt about it. It's whether they have the application and whether they're they're willing to do it on a, on a regular basis which is not always the case in, in my opinion anyway but yeah you know I mean Dublin Derby can go anyway and I didn't have any expectations coming in tonight but we owe them a beat and we certainly owe them a beat and we owe them a performance as well as much as anything else and Bradley and Tim needed the performance tonight but there was also, I think there's also an aspect as well of um, how would you put it uh, you know, a lack of confidence in the team as well and you saw when they got a couple of goals tonight then things started working for them again and happening but it's whether they can string a result, results together and especially with the European football coming up they need to go into into a, some sort of form to have any chance of progressing a couple of rounds in Europe but yeah well it just seems to be when it clicks it clicks like you can look at Cork for example the champions Jerry Bray, yeah yeah absolutely yeah when it clicks it clicks look our home form what well, we won defeat here to that horrible performance against Bowles a month or two ago but our away form is deplorable. We have we have to do something about it. It's, that's stopping us from go, going towards the top. And you know, we're, people were joking when we went a few goals up tonight. They were talking about winning the league, and it was more a case of we are staying up because 